Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Have you tried the sassy Twitter personality AI that took the internet by storm? Yeah, the one that hit 5 million users in just a few days and was making $4,000 an hour. Crazy, right? Today, we're diving into the exciting world of AI creation. I'm going to show you how to build your very own AI tool using Wordware. Yeah, it's the AI tool that created that snarky Twitter personality. Trust me, it's easier than you think. And by the end of this video, you'll be ready to create your own AI magic. Let's get started. Step 1. Sign up and dive in. First things first, head over to Wordware AI and sign up for an account. It's quick, it's easy, and it's your ticket to the AI playground. Once you're in, take a moment to look around. The interface is super user-friendly, kind of like Notion, if you've ever used that. Don't worry if it seems a bit overwhelming at first. We'll walk through it together. Step 2. Dream up your AI tool. Now here's where it gets fun. What kind of AI tool do you want to create? Maybe it's a chatbot that speaks like Shakespeare, or an AI that turns your selfies into Renaissance paintings. Whatever it is, dream big. This is your chance to bring that cool idea to life. Step 3. Pick your AI brain. Wordware offers a bunch of different AI models. Think of these like different brains you can choose for your AI. If you're working with language, GPT 3.5 or Claude 3.5 Sonnet are solid choices. Don't stress too much about this. You can always change it later if you need to. Step 4. Teach your AI with prompts. This is where the magic happens. You're going to write prompts that tell your AI what to do. It's like teaching a really smart dog new tricks, but with words. For example, if you're making a poetry AI, you might write something like, create a haiku about the current weather, play around with different prompts until you get the results you want. Step 5. Build your AI agent. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. Use Wordware's side to structure your AI agent. Don't let the tech jargon scare you. It's basically just putting the pieces of your AI together. You can add loops to repeat tasks, use if-then statements to make decisions, and even connect to outside data if you need to. Step 6. Add some pizzazz. Wordware has some cool features that can take your AI to the next level. You can make your AI spit out formatted text, work with images, or even handle audio and video. It's like giving your AI superpowers use them wisely. Step 7. Test, test, and test again. Before you unleash your AI on the world, give it a good workout. Wordware has built-in testing features, so use them. Try out different scenarios, see how your AI responds, and tweak things until it's just right. Remember, practice makes perfect, even for AIS. Step 8. Launch your AI baby. Ready for the big reveal? Wordware makes it super easy to deploy your AI with just one click. You'll get an API that you can use to connect your AI to apps, websites, or whatever else you can think of. It's like giving your AI its own phone number. Now it can talk to the world. Step 9. Team up and keep improving. The cool thing about Wordware is that you can invite your friends or colleagues to collaborate. Two heads or more, are better than one, right? Keep tweaking and improving your AI based on how people use it. Who knows, you might just create the next big thing in AI. And there you have it, folks. You're now equipped to create your very own AI tool using Wordware. Remember, the key is to have fun with it. Don't be afraid to experiment, make mistakes, and learn as you go. AI is all about pushing boundaries and exploring new possibilities. So, what are you waiting for? Get out there and start creating. Who knows, maybe your AI tool will be the next big thing we're all talking about. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content. And hey, drop a comment below telling me what kind of AI tool you're planning to build. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Until next time, happy AI creating!